When Don Ellis created the Hindustani Sextet, he was attempting to combine jazz, classical, rock, and his version of world music before anyone else thought of doing it. He somehow made sense of his original odd-metered arrangements while using electronics that enhanced his quarter-tone four-valve trumpet as well as amplification of his orchestra's brass and string sections. There was nothing at the time like Ellis. Not Mingus. Not Miles. Not J.J. Johnson. Nobody took the chances and made it work like Ellis. And when the combination of classical jazz emerged, Ellis took it to even greater heights by fusing together jazz and rock, which ultimately did redefine the genre. Jazz, generally speaking, hated the idea of a jazz rock format. That is, until Miles made it popular and marketable. Ellis did not dwell on commercializing his music, but opted for experimentation before entertainment. Hence, his most commercial album was entitled Don Ellis Goes Underground. Today, Don Ellis's charts, strange time signatures, and unusual sounding bands stand out from anything else ever written or performed on stage. A new term must be defined for Don Ellis, as the words coined by Gunter Schuller, the third stream, in speaking of a blend of jazz and classical, was only the starting point for Don Ellis. There's a new movement in American music actually called the third stream, which mixes the rivers of jazz with other rivers that flow down from the highbrow, far out mountain peaks of 12 tone or atonal music. The third stream is a, a term that I coined in the late 50s, which uh, was to describe the music that was coming in at that time, combining jazz and classical music, both the most advanced classical music and the most uh, advanced jazz techniques. And uh, Don certainly uh, fitted into that kind of uh, uh, an approach to music. So um, the program that I suggested uh, to Lenny, or part of it anyway, was a work of mine called Journey into Jazz, which was for um, narrator and uh, a symphony orchestra, small orchestra, and uh, a five-piece jazz group. And the protagonist of the story is a trumpet player who starts out as a classical trumpet player and during the course of the story he develops into a major jazz musician. But the story is about the trials and tribulations of how he got from the classical, to, from rather, rather square kind of playing and uh, increasingly better as a jazz improviser.